guys. What is what is Rebug or Rex? And what are the features of Rebug or Vex or whatever you want to call it? Well, Rebug is essentially just a hybrid of retail firmware and debug firmware. Basically, it has a retail kernel, however, it has a few debug features in it. For example, I can click on a game and open debug utility, and I can do all this stuff here. Also, I can click on information and see its title ID. If it's the PS3, if it's a PS3 account, and if it has a RW area, if it's um, upgradable, save data or account, save data quota, save data SCR. I don't know half of that stuff means, but I can I can see all that information. Um, another thing about Another thing about Rex is not every feature will work. Um, as you can see on a rebug firmware, the check feature does not work. Probably needs something in the DEX kernel, which is not available here. Um, so that's essentially what a rebug firmware is. Now. I'm going to get some of the features of the of Rebug on the PS Vita. At least the current one that we can get right now via this installer right here. I've made a video on that already, or I'm about to upload a video on that, depending on how I do this. Anyway, um, so first off, you will have, um, what, one, two, three, four, you have four new apps on your system, however, you'll be missing a PS Store bubble. Um, don't worry about that missing PS Store bubble, um, the app still exists, and you can easily add it back in the app.db, or you can just open up the browser, alright, and create a bookmark. Alright, let's go here. Add bookmark. You want to make the address um, P S. Damn it. P S N S. Or you want to make that the address P S N S with a colon. Not colon for just PSNS colon, or you can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it that, I guess. All right, and then you just click up here, and when you click on it, the PS Store will open. So that's one of the ways you can access the PS Store. Um, you can also just add it to app.db. Its title ID is MPXS10002. Um, and then you will just have a bubble that you can just click on as usual if you want to do it that way. Um, and you can also access the PS Store from the um, regional store. Um, however, I'm going to go over those apps now. So when you have install Rex, um, you'll get these new apps. Right, the first one is Package Install. Some of you may be familiar with this. It gets to install .pkg files um, and Basically, you can install DRM-free content such as demos, regardless of region. So you can install a Japanese demo on your um, North American account, for example, and it would work. Um, it requires QCMA to work, and you just need to plug it into a computer, click on Content Manager Assistant, and you should be good to go. You should be able to click on one and install. Next, I'm gonna go over these two title stores, okay? Um, store preview title store, okay? Well, um, these are basically used by game developers to the, um, to see what their application will look like in the store. See, yeah, it says service ID is empty. All right, I don't know. How, I don't actually know how to make it work, but basically, that one will always just say service ID is empty. Um, the regional store, alright, um, 
will show what it looks like in the normal PS Store. The other one is for when you look at it inside a game. Um, and you can actually download content through the regional store that you bought off on the computer PS Store website. If you go on the computer PS Store website, you can buy content and then it will come on your download list and you can download it from here. You can also click on this little game button, alright, and it will throw an error and then another error. But then you can click up here on search and search for stuff as usual. So that's another way you can get content on a rebug system. Next is mini settings for QA, which will just launch this. Um, if you click on the bug settings, your system will crash, and um, that's no fun. If you click on PlayStation Network, it basically is the same as, um, as it, I haven't noticed anything different about the PlayStation Network settings on mini settings for QA. But, um, yeah, that's basically what it does. It's more useful on an actual DEX. Um, if you open a PS Store, you will have some new options. First of all, you have the debug settings thing, which is the same as the other one. If you click it, it will crash your system. Um, however, under System Information, it now tells you your full system software version. Alright. And um, under Power Saving Settings, you can and turn off automatic standby and you can turn it on after 60 minutes as well all right and a few so that's um a few changes in there and there's been some changes to the trophy app as well um i have to actually have an app i actually have to have some trophies so i hang on i'll just start this quickie Alright, so, in the trophy app, you now have the option to delete all trophies. You can also click on here and then click on this top one, and you can individually delete them. You can also individually yark and unyark trophies. However, keep in mind, if you unyark or yark a trophy and then sync online, it will not actually do anything. So doing that, um, if I sync online, I will not suddenly have the true ending um, trophy. You can also click on here on not in one, and you have the option to unlock all trophies and yark all trophies. Again, these will not sync online, um, but that is still a new feature in there. Um, another change is actually in the browser. It's a very small change and took me a while to notice. However, if you click on settings, you don't have the security tab. It is it is gone. Also, you don't have those two compulsory bookmarks in your bookmarks tab. I actually like that one a lot, that I don't have PlayStation.com and Trend Micro in my bookmarks anymore. Yay, that's it. Um, and there have also been some changes to the content manager. The content manager will now let you copy content from any single user account. So a CMA backup from any user will copy onto here. However, it has DRM, it will not work on your account. Um, another thing is the content manager now has the option to only copy save data to the computer, which is a great feature. Um, that's about all the changes I've noticed with CMA, though. Um, there are quite a few changes actually to the live area screen, this screen right here. Alright, so I've already shown off some of them, but you can click on here, alright, and click on app. And the first thing you'll notice is you have now got the debug utility. 
And every single one of these things works, except for check. Check will just throw an arrow. Okay. Um, another thing is, if you click on information, it tells you some extra stuff, like a title ID, a PS feeder, a W error area, upgradable app, save data account, save data quota, and save data slot. Very useful information, um, especially that title ID one. Nothing's worse than trying to figure out what title ID a game is. And, um, also, on the live area, if you push the PS button, there will be no ads. And if you restore your system, you won't get those annoying hints that tell you how to use your system. Um, that is all I have noticed on the live area screen. And, um, I think that's about it, actually. I think I've gone over everything. Oh yeah, that's right. I also have made an app called Mini Settings to Rex. These, this is a custom app. You don't even need re Rebug to use it. However, I recommend you use it with Rebug because that was what it was intended for. But you can change the confirm button from X to Circle. You can change some stuff with Max Standby. You can enable some PlayStation Plus only features. As you can see, you can automatically download game updates, automatically download firmware updates, I don't recommend that one. You can automatically sync trophies and automatically upload save data to the PS Plus cloud. No, that one will only work if you have PlayStation Plus. Um, you can do skip patch download, I haven't, I don't actually know what that does, but, um, yeah. You can enable debug notifications and overpriced PS Store. Debug notifications is essentially whenever you launch an app that has a DRM, it will come up with a message right up there. An overpriced PS Store just makes everything cost $999 in the PS Store, and you can't even buy it. Um, parental controls, you can change the parental control passcode, and you can completely yark the parental control app. Click on PSN account, and it will tell you some information. Um, I'm not going to click on it, because it would tell you the password to my PSN account. 3G information, if you have a 3G PS either, it shows some extra information about that. You can crash the system, you can throw an error. Um, this debug settings will actually work, however it has nothing in it. You can load IDU settings without being an IDU mode. This is pretty useful, however the content downloader won't work outside IDU mode. Um, you can view credits as well. Uh, that's all there is for that app. And that app does not come with free bugs. That app you have to install manually. But I think that's all there is. I can't think of anything else. Yep, I'm gonna say that's it. Um... I could be wrong, it could be a few extra things that I haven't mentioned here, but I think that's it, so yeah. That's what it for this video, thanks for watching.